I'm on. Fish on. I've been here before and I've screwed it up a couple times. Come on. Take your time, girl. I got, I got all day. Oh, look at that. He just hit my line. That fish did. And it pulled it. No way that just happened. My name's Robert Field and I ditched the corporate grind to pursue my passions for fishing and travel. This time I'm in Alaska with the boys from Fish Village to find out just what makes the final frontier so legendary. Fish on, oh yeah. You're watching Field Trips with Robert Field. This place is ridiculous. Look at this deer right in our front yard. <laughs> Look at him, she's looking at him and, and she's like curious, she's coming she's towards him. <laughs> so this is a Sitka black-tailed deer, is not scared of us. Like not only not scared, it's like curious. It's like, what are you guys doing? I love does, she's a young one. All right guys, morning of day one. It's beautiful out here except uh, <laughs> Fog has rolled in. It is a low viz kind of day. They're telling me, welcome to Alaska. This is just part of it. But uh, it's beautiful in kind of an eerie way. We got a little sea lion that's been hanging out here in front of our camp all morning. I mean, the last hour and a half, just going back and forth, hunting for fish. We're seeing some fish jump out of the water. But uh, lots of activity. And today, we're gonna be chasing salmon. I've never caught one in my whole life. I'm excited. I do a lot of research. You say, well, if you get that yeah, age, special charge, especially if you can take a little bit longer on one versus yeah. the other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Eventually, they'll equalize them. Get a little yeah. breakfast going. Well, you might have to show the. I'm open. Cherry Lane, if you're looking for pro staffers. <laughs> <laughs> I love eggs. A little bacon, a little bacon, a little bacon, bacon. It's going to be gone by the time the eggs get made. Yes, it will. You can never make enough, remember? Need some provisions. Yeah. Got grub? Ah, I'm ready to do this. Huh? Another mic, don't worry. It's Mike Pons back there. He's just now getting dressed. Get in the gallery. Yeah. You just get your clothes on, sweetie. We're gonna do this. I'm ready to brush your teeth. Here you go. I don't know how to stop this thing. Oh. You should, you need to know. So here's how to. All right, time to hit it. We're gonna take the boat back across to where the van is. We're gonna drive to the blind slough that we checked out yesterday. Let's see if we can't get on some salmon. It's gonna basically be wade fishing, fishing from the bank. He said that's the most effective way to, to get these guys. You want a boost? You're going in. Okay. <laughs> Give me a boost, bro. I don't think it's gonna work out the way you think, Rob. <laughs> we have one in the middle, one on the left, and one on the right. It probably scoots if it wants to. Oh yeah. <laughs> That's a good motor right there. Not bad, just a little mist. Yeah, just adds to the ambiance. Wouldn't want to be out here sunny and warm. <laughs> it will be next week. Yeah, right. Like four days of nothing but sun. The day after we leave, it's going to be 75 degrees. 75 degrees for the next four days. <laughs> of course it is. So luckily while we're here, we get the full experience. Misty and it's chilly. Alaska-y. It is very alaska -y. Southeast Alaska, mainly Admiralty Island, which is about 60 miles that way, okay. north. I fished there with a friend of mine who had a lodge for like 30 years. Okay. But that was all halibut fishing, no salmon fishing. All right. And one of my guys on Facebook said, hey, I just bought a place in Petersburg. And it was Jeff. And I knew him through, through, uh, through Facebook, but I didn't know him through anything else. So. He goes, I'll be in town next week, blah, 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 meet me at Coastal for lunch, and we talked, and he said he wanted to do something up here, and I said, well, do you need help? And he said, yeah, and that's where it all started. 
Oh yeah. Got the NRS Bills bag. Holds a ton of stuff. Also offers protection from grizzly bears chasing you. And uh, aggressive. That's not true. Baggage claim people. Aggressive baggage claim people. Aggressive, attractive groupie hoes. Just kidding. <laughs> So we're casting this out, steady retrieve. Yep. Just keep it above the rocks. Yep. As soon as it hits the water, just start reeling it in. We got some extra stuff, right? Other yep. stuff we can try? Not extra stuff. I like having options, man. We're here, walking down this path to this path. And we're fishing here, wading out here. And then we can also walk. There's a path here all the way out to this point and down to here. So we can kind of fish the mouth, fish up in here. See where they're at. Guys, we'll go right here. Another good spot is just to the right of this guy, but over here it gets really rocky. And snaggy. And treacherous. Yeah. And there, see that grassy beach over there? Yep. The water will slowly go out. Right there? On the other side of those rocks, yeah. Okay. okay. Um, and uh, just start casting, and they're just they're just swimming, or you can see them swimming yeah, around yeah. in there, and they'll swim around in schools. Okay, so if you see them, if you cast in that direction, you know, yep. I'm sure you'll probably snag some, and hopefully they'll enough of them will get pissed off and eat your lure. Okay, you get two over 28 and two under 28. Mm -hmm. The ones that are under 28, the smaller one, they call them jacks. Okay. Yep, yeah, heard uh, that. Yeah, <laughs> but uh, you should. Uh, I've do well. seen There's a lot of activity. Like quite a few fishing here. Yeah, I've seen a lot of activity. Yeah. Cool. The one thing you have to watch out for is if you're way over there and you catch fish and you bring them up to that to that sandy bank over there, mm -hmm. got to look over your shoulder all the time because the eagle, eagles eagle. will come down and uh, oh, they'll terrible. get them. That's a, yeah. But as soon as you catch them, they go viral. As soon as you catch them, bring them up, gut them, and gill them. Yep. Uh, if you don't want to gill them, just slit the gill. Okay. And scoop the bloodline. Yeah, and then the bloodline up the middle. Yep. You know, scrape it out. Yep. And just leave it in the water. Got it. Yeah, no problem. And I'll be back around uh, round three. Okay. Cool. And cast out on any of these guys, right? Yeah. Bald eagle. They're everywhere. Bro. <laughs> that was almost bad. All right, so we're waiting out here. He kind of explained the lay of the land, the lay of the rocks. The tide's going out. We were here yesterday and there were like no rocks out of the water, now there's a bunch. So we're just going to kind of post up in this spot and there's sort of a highway between the rocks. These fish have to run. We're seeing them tailing and smacking the surface, all kinds of stuff. Now these, these salmon, they're, they're spawning. They're coming up here to lay their eggs. They're not going to be feeding. They're not really feeding. Essentially we're throwing these kind of flashy spinners, spoons, getting them in their face, kind of pissing them off enough to where they kind of hit it out of reaction more than anything else. So makes for kind of a challenge these are not aggressively feeding fish but they're in here we're seeing a ton there's a bunch in here so <clears throat> he said there's always a chance we could snag one now if you snag them it's not legal to keep we'll have to release them but you know hey fight's a fight <laughs> some big boys dude a big one just rolled right in front of me there we go oh, oh! <laughs> that was a big one too no! Did you see that? Yeah, I had him, bro. I had that one, dude. I don't know how. Well, you ran sideways. It's not that hard. Uh, that's two. That was a good sign. God, he, sh he, dude, they're fast. He flew to the right. Nice. Mike's hooked up. Third hookup of the day. First fish that's actually stayed on. Nice, bro. Nice. Look at that. Look at that. Oh. Off. That's tough, man. I've lost two. They're uh, they're tricky to keep on. That was a good one. Yeah, it looked like a good one, bro. Oh, that's a good one. That's man. a good sign. God, listen to them. They're busting everywhere. Oh, oh. wait, no, 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 no. You on again? I don't think I lost them. Oh my God, Mike's still on. He didn't even know it. Look, he's right here now. We're not gonna land. Yeah, yeah, so walk, walk, watch yourself walking back. You walk Take your time. You're good. Oh, broke you off, dude. Whoa. He ran and snapped it. Your lure's gone. Hey, that was dope, though. That was real tight. 
<laughs> They're out here, dude. We've been seeing them. I'll hood two and lost them pretty much both right away. Oh, he fought man. that one for a while. That was a good one. <laughs> they out here, dude. We're about to get on them. We're about to get on them. Sweet. Yep, on. Fish on, fish on. Fish on. He's coming at me, he's coming at me. He's coming at me. Oh, he's right here. Oh! Oh, bro, he's a good one. Good one. Oh, no! Did you see that? That was a stud. That was insane! That was insane! That was wild, dude. He was running at me like just lethargically. Then he got close, breached right in front of us. That was a nice fish. I had it on for a while, man. I can't believe it just came off again. Oh man, there's some big boys in here. <laughs> that was fun, dude. All right, they're all over, dude. They're everywhere. This place is nuts. There's literally fish jumping splashing gray hounding out of the water everywhere anywhere you look there's one doing it oh i thought i thought we got like no seams swarming our faces it's a little gnat like insect that'll bite you the guy said there are no seams anyways there's a lot of this i'm catching a lot of this They're out here, and we're getting them every once in a while. Fish on, fish on. Nice job. Oh yeah. Yeah. Back up, buddy. Back up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's not ready. Okay. Oh, dude. Big boy, bro. Big one. Look at this! Oh yeah, dude, he hit it the second it landed. Look at him. Good fish, good fish. Rocker. Look at this. This is a really good one. Keep coming back, keep coming back. Yeah, I got you. Look at this guy. Uh-oh. He's going around. Oh my gosh, dude, he's going crazy. He's going this way and I gotta go with him. Look at this fish. Look at this fish. Oh god, got rocks. Oh god. Monster. Oh god, he's going around that rock. Oh. Big rocks, Robert. Yeah. Watch your step. I can't stop him, dude. He's going. He's going where he wants. Come on, boy. Stay on, please. Stay on. That's a big fish. Got him. Just taking my time, man. There's no, oh gosh, there's no rush in this. It's really rocky over here. All right. There's no rush in this. Got 15 pound test. This is a big fish. Uh, one of the bigger ones we put today, I would say. And this is definitely the longest I've had one on. We are out here in the elements. This fish is not. I tightened down the drag a little bit, but I'm just kind of letting him run, let him tire himself out. <laughs> hit it the second I hit the water. I think this might have been the first actual strike I've gotten. Pretty sure every other fish I've hooked I snagged. But this guy, uh, second I hit the water, I mean, I hadn't even really started going yet. Might be here a minute. <laughs> Come on. Woo. Tricky part here is we got to get him to the beach to, to land him. There are rocks in the way. He's definitely slowing down, but he's just too strong to horse in. I got 15 pound test. Just taking my time. He's kind of going back and forth. I'm so tempted to put the heat on him, but I'm going to wait. Be patient. Just kind of zigzagging back and forth. Come on. Take your time, girl. I got, I got all day. Oh, look at that. He just hit my line. That fish did. And it pulled it. No way that just happened. That fish just ran into my line and it came up. That was wild. That was a big one. Had it on for a long time. That fish just greyhounded out of the water. I felt it snack my line. I thought it broke me off at first, but it just put slack in the line and my fish pulled. God, I, the hard part was over, dude. It had stopped jumping. It was just kind of like, Methodically working its way back. That's number four that I've had on and actually fought and lost. And that was by far the closest I got. And that was definitely the biggest one I hooked. Dude, that was a big fish. That was a 
those big fish, bro. Heartbreaking. Heartbreaking. Oh, sorry. That was it? That was my picture, man. I can't believe that that, that just happened. Ah. Nice. Nice, Nick's on. Nick's on. Oh, wow, he's right here. Where's? Take your time, take your time, watch the rocks. Came off. It's hard to keep these things button, bro. You had them on for a while. That was a good one. It's all right, it's a good sign, man. They're still chewing. You guys, this is so much fun. We just came here into this little lean-to they've got here. Take a little break, dry off for a minute, eat a sandwich. Just kind of recuperate. I, I uh, I'm feeling a little discouraged. The other ones I lost, you know, it's brand new fishing for me. I wasn't, I wasn't surprised at losing a few, but that one it just felt like I did everything right. And again, I don't know if it came out on camera, but a smaller salmon jumped out of the water into the line, popped the line, it let slack in, and there went the fish. And it's, I, <laughs> Mike was joking, like you know, fish swam by, like I got you, bro. <laughs> Head butts the line. I can't believe that just happened, like. That shows you how many salmon are right there. They're literally salmon are jumping out of the water into my line while I'm fighting a salmon. I mean, there's everywhere in here. It has been just wild. Like, I could come out here and just sit and watch these fish do their thing. So cool. All right, so really, all things considered, it's going pretty well, you guys. These fish are chewing. We're snagging them, too, I think. Uh, I'm pretty sure they're just super concentrated right now. We're here at low tide very intentionally. They don't have much room, so they're kind of balled up. And uh, we're getting on them. I mean, we've uh, probably hooked six or seven. I know the footage has been terrible. The rain has not let up since we got here. So really nothing I can do about it. I don't have enough equipment. All I've got is what I can carry here in the interest bills bag. So, um, you know, trying to show you guys what this is like, but take it from me. This is incredible. These fish, they're everywhere. Bald eagles, we've probably seen 40 bald eagles in the two and a half hours we've been here. I mean, just, this place is wild, and uh, you know, the rain, it's a little chilly, doesn't bother me at all. Uh, I'm decked out head to toe in NRS gear, waterproof, got the expedition weight on, keeping me warm. I'm feeling good, the fish are, fish are everywhere, they're active. Uh, when the rain lets up a little more, I'm gonna try to get some footage for you guys, but uh, I hope I can convey what this is like, what this experience, what this place is like. It's uh, it's just absolutely incredible. It's breathtaking. They're organized. We're getting organized. We're figuring this out. To be able to come out here, we got no guide. We're out here just winging it, figuring it out. I'm feeling good about the results so far. See if we can't get one of these fish in our hands. I'm gonna get my hands on one today. I can feel it. See you guys down there. Dude, like I'm having fun now. Now the rain's stopping. Yeah. Mike's hooked up with a good one. It's jumping. It's running right at him. Just take your time, man. Take your time. Uh, you got a big rock right behind you. Uh, like six feet behind you. Keep it tight. He's, let him do his thing. He's gonna. We're a ways from the bank. Mike Ponds hooked up. Ooh. Ooh, looks solid. Careful, careful. Take your time. There's a lot of smaller Walk rocks on too. That. Come on back. Yeah. Look at the look. Look, he's sending his buddies to come out here and. Yeah. See, we should have brought the net, dude. We could have them in by now. Yes. Nice. Yeah. There it is, dude. Yeah. First fish to hand of the day. What do we got one? No, no, no. Oh, that's good, beautiful fish. Beauty. It's a keeper. So we're gonna keep this guy. We can keep 228 inches, two over 28 inches. Mike is uh, dispatching it, removing the gills. We'll gut it, and then we'll keep it in the water and try to keep the uh, bald eagles from, from stealing it from us. Starting the anus. Right, right above here. Don't stab into it. Just tip it and then just unzip it. And there'll be a little plate right here, but you know, what you're gonna do is kind of go at a low angle and pop up through it. Don't go down and up. 
always try to keep the knife at a low angle so you don't get into it. You take all this out? Yep. They're talking, bro. They know. The eagles are coming. The eagles have landed. Bald eagles everywhere. Here, Rob, check this out. That is a beating salmon heart. The salmon heart is still beating. Wow. That is freaking insane. Fresh as it gets. You gotta eat the heart, Mike. No, I'm not. First salmon. So you cut that membrane and then scrape that bloodline out with the spoon. Oh wow, look at that. You take them down to the water and get them good and clean. And put them on the rope. And watch for the eagles. Nice, Mike. Is that your first salmon ever? Ever. First salmon ever. First one of the day. Congrats, dude. Thank you, sir. Me and Nick gotta get one now. You're on? Yeah! Oh sh! I'm about to hook him again. Oh no. Oh no. We got a pro. Yep. Oh wow. I'll hold the rod. Nope, nope. Just forget I'm here. Just worry about the fish, man. Huh? I'm telling you, just worry about the fish. This thing tied a knot I've never seen before, guys. Huh? Cut Mikey's line. That knot's gonna still be there. It's okay, I'll just bring it right through the guides. You got this, bro. You got this. Woo. Work him in. She'll come in. Just don't go too fast, man. You're not in a hurry. She's not going anywhere. Don't fall. Uh-oh. If she goes down those falls, you got a real problem. Oh, no. Oh, no. She's in it. Yep. She She's is. in it. Get, get, can you get down there, please? Swimming right in. Oh man. Oh man. Coming towards over, you. Over the rock. Oh no. She's up in the rapids. Get her, Mikey. Mike's trying to land Taylor, her. Taylor, Mikey. Good job, buddy. Uh oh. Uh oh. I got it still. Over, over, over. Careful, careful, careful. Oh sh. Oh god. Oh God. She's coming back. She's coming back. Oh, you're good. She almost got in those rapids. She would have been gone. Would have been gone 100 percent. Oh, nice. Let's take your time now. Now, now you got her now. Nice, dude. Nice. That was a little excitement, eh? Yeah. A little excitement. You deserve this. Oh, one. beautiful fish, dude. Look at this guy. Look at that. Nice fish. That was a battle, it almost got in the rapids. He followed it down there, somehow got her back up. Mike almost landed her, wasn't able to, got away from him, and then Nick finally uh, kind of bullied her back up the rapids before she got too that far. Effort, that was the effort, boys. That was the, uh, oh man, Thanks beautiful. For Thanks for the backup, boys. Beautiful fish. I bet you didn't think I could run, huh? <laughs> oh, I was like, yeah, <laughs> Mike was sprinting along the rocks. Nick did too. I thought for sure when y'all was gonna go swimming. What? Oh, I'm looking at him. That was a big one. Just came in like a roll. Come on, fish on. Oh yeah, I've been here before and I've screwed it up a couple times. I'm gonna take my time. Oh wow. Going. Oh gosh. It is running. I'm not even slowing her down right now. Oh my gosh. I'm so nervous. Fish out. Oh. I haven't seen her. She doesn't really jump, but it feels like a pretty good one. She's uh determined to head that way. Oh she's she's moving some water. She's gotta be decent, she feels heavy. I'm like, it's so, I can't get excited. I can't get my hopes up because I've been here a couple times today. I figure out where to land her though, up on this grassy 
Just cannot let any slack in these in the line. No. I learned that lesson a couple times. Look at her. She didn't jump. She didn't. Yeah, she's staying down. Ooh, I feel like it's a good one, dude. <laughs> a little second wind here. I got zero control over. Tighten down just a little bit. She's got to be a good fish, bro. Look at this. I gotta stop her. I can't let her go around those rocks. I gotta stop her. <laughs> uh, stop, please. <laughs> I'm gonna lose her, dude. She's going over those rocks. I'm about to lose her. Dude, start cranking on her then, man. Yeah, she's about to go around those rocks. Oh, I can feel the rock. She's right on it. You see her? Yeah. Oh, come on. Please hold, line. Please hold. Oh, she's, she's on this side of it. Oh, my gosh, dude. I'm gonna back back off it now. She's slowing down, man. I'm, I'm making headway now. Oh, my gosh. This is like such a delicate finesse, like, I'm so scared right now. <laughs> I snagged her in the tail. That's why she's fighting so hard. She's close, guys, she's right here. She's right here. Easy, easy, man. Don't, uh, uh don't force it, man. Dude, uh, I've got her this far. Hey, I'm going over you, yep. I'm gonna bring her up here into the shallows. Nice. Yep. Oh, dude. Big, big, big girl, bro. Looks like a really good fish. Looks like a really good fish. Hey, I'm gonna bring her up here in the shallows. I've got her. Snagged her in the tail. Oh, oh. She's between your legs right now. Easy, man. Don't, don't break the line, please. Watch that hook. Yes. Don't take it out yet. Don't take it out yet. Let's get control of her. Better, like get her up on here or something. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Oh, dude, beauty, beauty. That's a nice one. Beauty. <gasps> Look at this. So there is my first king salmon, solid female. Oh, just what a fight on this light tackle. So much fun. Beautiful, beautiful fish. This girl is on her way up to lay her eggs. Uh, that's uh, one for each of us so far today, and a uh, bunch more lost. Just uh, absolutely gorgeous. That is so much fun. That is a battle. Like, you, you fought him forever, and you can't hurry it. Absolutely beautiful fish, so I actually snagged her with the treble hook, so can't keep her. We're gonna release her on her way. Oh my gosh, beauty, look at her, look at her. Look at that. Nice work, man. That was everything I hoped it would be. I kind of started to give up hope. These guys both got theirs. I was, I was giving up hope after losing those two good ones. Ooh, Alaska, bro! Nice work, brother. <laughs> oh, that is so rad. Nice work, brother. Dude. Nice work, Team Fish Village. We're out here, bald eagles everywhere, wading in this beautiful river, mountains, steamy mountains in the background, catching salmon, hooking them left and right. This is what it's all about here, bro. <sighs> We're one grizzly short of an Alaskan party, bro. <laughs> <sighs> Unreal. You guys gotta come out here and try this. On. Yeah. I don't think it's as big. Oh, no. Oh. Whew. Whew. <laughs> It's decent. Look at this. Look at this fish. <laughs> Salmon uh, number two, uh, number four or five that I've hooked. Just landed that other one. Pretty, pretty, pretty big one. This one didn't feel as big, but now I'm not so sure. She's pulling. Look at all the grass on my on my line. Not ideal. Look at look. She's rallying her friends to come hit the line. <laughs> Look at this guy. No, it's about to happen again. He just jumped three times towards my... These fish are just like relentless, the endurance. These things have traveled how far, you know? How long? Thousands of miles, man. Normally hooking fish like this in such an epic, epic setting. I mean, just in such a fun way, I would be just freaking out, hooping and hollering, but these fish, it just feels so like, like I don't think the odds are above 50% I'm gonna land this fish even <laughs> despite every everything. We Oh, oh, especially if I fall in the water. She's right here. She's slowing down. She's not as big as that first one. Whew. 
This is like the most dangerous game here. Trying to dodge these slippery rocks while not letting any slack in this line because every time that happens, these things get off. Oh, come on. Yeah, she snagged in the tail. That's why she's fighting so hard too. Come on, girl. Let me get my hands on you. I'll get that hook out of you and set you on your way. Yeah, you can get in the water if you want when she gets close. Oh. <laughs> Look at this girl, bro. Absolutely incredible. Oh, fish, Robert. Beauty, bro. Number two. Just stud fish right here in this. I mean, it's two feet deep. Absolutely incredible. Feels like a redfish or something. We're seeing them tailing, seeing them uh, waking. It's just a very visual way of fishing and uh, you know we've gotten a couple to bite and uh, I can't see him do anything but snag him but it makes for an absolute blast of a fight. Alright so I snagged this girl too, not legal to keep her uh, even though she's a keeper and uh, but just what an incredible fish she's already fighting me. Look at the pink on this thing. Look at that. Look at the colors on that. <sighs> just a beautiful fish. But she's fighting me. Look she's ready to go so we're gonna let her on her way. This is magical, dude. This place is magical. For us to come out here, we don't even know what we're doing. <laughs> we're all clueless newbies and we're out here just getting them consistent action all day long in like the most epic scenery I've ever seen. You hear that noise? Those are bald eagles, about 40 of them that we can see from right where we're fishing. Whew. Day one. Yeah, I think uh, as far in terms of uh, proving up the salmon fishery, Gonna say it's a uh, decent to amazing. <laughs> yes, it gets a pass. <laughs> pass oh my grade. gosh! Yeah, yeah. So yeah, dude. What a what a trip. So, like we said earlier, I'm out here. We're out here, proving out the fishery, figuring out how kayaks would, would work here and, and what the advantages would be. So we're kind of looking at this, and you know, if we had the kayaks, I mean, there's so much river that we just don't want to walk to <laughs> that uh, we could work all these areas if the fish weren't here. Today they happen to be right here where we walked down, but. Uh, you know, that's what we're doing here. We're trying to figure this place out, see how hard it would be for clients to come here, maybe not knowing anything. And with the guide Catch Fish, we came here not knowing anything and we're catching fish on our own. So, uh, so far, this could not be going better. Oh man, what a day, what a day, bro. This is sick. That's a haul there, boys. Kept two and left two swimming. It's quite the uh, hike up this half mile ramp now that it's uphill and we're all worn out and they're carrying a bunch of fish. I got this uh, pretty heavy bills bag on my back. Feeling it. It's getting old, fellas. <laughs> Sitka black tailed deer. Beautiful. We've seen a ton of them on the roads here. That was a mama with a little baby. And that we think is a ptarmigan. Thing. Or a partridge. I don't know. Alright, so we're here at Tonka Seafoods. We're dropping this off. So they call these smokers. Uh, they're not, you know, chrome fish. They're not fresh out of the ocean. They've already made their way up. They kind of start to deteriorate. So the meat's not quite as good a quality uh, for, you know, just kind of consuming as it is. So they smoke it. The best way to eat these guys is smoked. It smells amazing. So now this takes a week, so we're not going to be able to actually eat the fish that we caught, but uh, Rich is going to let us taste some of his smoke that he just picked up. The smoked salmon will keep for five years, he says, and it's going to be tasty. I can smell it. You guys ever find my smoked fish that you lost? Uh, oh. <laughs> guys. As we make our way back to the lodge, it occurs to me that part of the magic of Alaska is that it presents an opportunity to experience a way of life that most of us have forgotten entirely. This place embodies the wildness that we've almost completely lost due to modern technology. Being out here amongst the mist-covered mountains, tranquil rivers, and dynamic ocean narrows with two of my best friends instills a calm within me that has been absent for a long time. 
The incredible fishing is more of a side note here than anywhere else I've ever fished. No seasonings, nothing, just just fish and fire. And it is fire, dude, you got, that's amazing. Yeah. With nothing on it, I, you, you guys ought to, if, Coming up next episode, we're switching gears and heading out into the ocean in search of our first Pacific halibut. We'll be dodging icebergs and humpbacks on our way to the fishing grounds. And despite being completely new to this style of fishing, Alaska makes it easy on us once again. Yep, yep I'm on it. Just one after another. Look at this guy. Yeah, bro. Yeah. First Pacific halibut, dude.